Bonjour guys, welcome to a brand new FIFA 21 Ultimate Team video and for today boys it will be the start of a mini series on FIFA 21 it will be how you guys can have the best possible start on FIFA 21 and today we will really focus on the FIFA 21 web app so bros we're gonna give you all of our tips and our tricks that we use to maximize our coins during the food web app so bros if you appreciate this video and if you found this video helpful drop a massive like and make sure you guys really consider subscribing if you are brand new to our channel for some more fifa 21 videos and obviously a road to glory which means we will spend zero euros dollar pound on fifa points it will be a rich man uh, on road to rich man basically without spending any money so bros with that being said Let's talk about the date of the FIFA 21 web app. The web app will be released September the 30th. At pro approximated time, it will be around 6 p.m. UK time, around the content drop most of the time. Exactly, boss. Uh, every single day for FIFA 20 at 6 p.m. UK time, EA Sports release something new. We predict with Liam DC that at 6 p.m. UK time, like Liam said, the web app will be released. One little tip, boss, we can give you as soon as you're on the web app, don't log no, don't log out directly yes. because there will be millions of people who want to connect at the same time therefore the, the servers will be overcrowded my tip do not leave do not log out of the web app that's the first tip we can give you because after it will take you ages to come back on and you'll be like super disappointed about EA Sports once again after boys, as soon as you're on the web app, there's gonna be those packs, those loyalty packs. Uh, depending whenever you start playing Ultimate Team, personally for us, we played Ultimate Team since FIFA 13. Uh, so we're gonna have at least uh, four or five packs to open directly. And uh, I think boys, we can all agree that within those four to five packs, there is gonna be at least one player, one key player that you will pack. That's gonna be interesting to make a team around. And after the remaining players, try to sell them yes exactly so with those loyalty packs with those starter packs on the food web app there's gonna be couple options and couple things you guys will need to do first yeah. of all you guys will need to analyze who are you packing are you packing some 86 plus 86 or a higher rated players that's really rare by the way but super rare and obviously some really overpowered meta players we're taking the likes of valverde Davies, those type of players that a lot of people will want to play with within the first couple of weeks, players that are really hyped up, please do not sell them. I repeat, 86 players or above Don't and sell. really meta players do not sell on the Fit web app simply because their price will go up as soon as the game is out. For example, someone like Adama Traore. At first on the web app, the first few hours of FIFA 21, Adama Traore will range between 20 to 35,000 coins. As soon as the full game is out, the world world release, Adama Traore will be at least 60 to 70,000 coins. To put this into perspective, boys, on FIFA 20 last year, within the first few hours of the FIFA 20 web app, we bought Nelson Semedo, the Barcelona right back, nice revolver employer. We bought him for 12,000 coins on the web app few days few weeks after i think it was two weeks after uh, yeah. right before few champions started uh we could have sold him for forty thousand coins so we bought a player for 12k we could have sold him for forty thousand coins so you guys can imagine the investment you guys can make on those cheap op players exactly and uh keep in mind bros all right try to sell all of the players and all of the items that you guys uh didn't like keep with the 86 players or above and obviously the meta players try to sell everything because even if it's 200 coins, 300 coins, 400 coins, 500 coins, this will help you out to utilize your coins afterwards to start trading, to start investing and like the guys can build up again your coins balance. Yes, because like I said, you guys gonna open like at, in hope to make at least four or five, four or five packs that you can open. On the, in, in those packs, there's some gold players, some gold rare players if you're damn lucky. There's as well some silvers and some bronze, bronze. players. Yes. At first, bros, because people want to complete some SBC. 
and even the shittiest bronze player can sell for sell. 200 coins. So make sure you sell them 200 coins here and there. At the end of the day, boys, plus the coins bonuses that you're gonna receive from logging every single day, that you will see that the uh, amount of coins that you have will rise slowly but surely. surely. One more thing, boys, that I said personally, don't try to build your team during the web app, all right? right? Uh, building your team on the web app, it's not really important in my opinion, simply for the fact that you don't know yet the meta of the game. In my opinion, it'll be uh, better for you to build uh, your team, at least your starter team, during the e-access, if you have the access, or if not, uh, during the full game. But at least in the web app, try to make as much cons as possible, or potentially invest into one key player, just like us with Nelson Semedo, and you know that you're gonna sell him a few days after, so like that you can uh, make more cons on the player, basically. And then next up, bros, it will be about the SBCs. Vincent, quickly talked about it, but make sure you guys uh, try to do a lot of SBCs on the web app, all right? Especially if you have enough coins, if you trade a lot, if you have, let's say, five to six to 7,000 coins, try to do some starters of the, you know, the starter SBCs, the RB Leagues and Nation, all of those SBCs that can give you some good pack rewards. Yes, in uh, Obviously, but during the EA play, EA access during those 10 hours, it will be important for you guys to not try to do the SBCs on the e-access because you guys will waste precious minutes trying to complete the SBCs. Therefore, try to complete them on the web, web app yeah. because it's on the unlimited app. time on the web app. Exactly, take your time on the web app, boss. You're not in a rush. If you need to take more time to see on food being one of the solutions, that's gonna be helpful to you, boss. Please, you don't have to take the train on the web app. Yes. Relax, analyze, don't wear in scones. Can't have to backload and have to sell it because after the air tax will take 5% off of you. So please, boys, on the web app, take your time. time. You don't have to take the train. One more thing, boys, we're gonna come back to SBCs. There's a website called Feedbean. I think you guys know which website we're talking about. Uh, there's some uh, Feedbean, uh, on Feedbean, there's like some SBC solution. Solutions. I think it's important for you guys to check this for two reasons. The first one, to know which player to buy and the second reason so like that you guys can make some trading on some cards if you see that a silver or bronze card is here a lot of time is it's here for a lot of solution then potentially it'll be good to invest on this card and to check regularly the transfer market for that card because people if they say if they see that it's uh, uh, not really high demand gold silver or bronze card guess what they will put it for a really low price and if you guys can snap that low card then after you guys can make some money on. So Feedbean is good for two solutions. See which player you can use in the SBCs and see which player can be good for making some coins on via trading. Yes, that's gonna be super important. This is what we used this past couple of years and this is how we made most of our coins on the web app, yep. checking the SBC solutions. Keep in mind, if you try to do the solutions, if you can uh, try to do the SBCs, don't really, don't always um, go 100% with every player that's in the SBC solution because a lot of traders, they are smart. They know that most of the casuals, they are too tired or they are not really focused enough to do the SBCs by themselves. Therefore, they will copy and paste the exact same SBC solution the on price. their team. Therefore, their price, uh, the price of the players will quickly rise up. So keep in mind, all right, try to not uh, always copy and paste the SBC solution that you guys can see. Maybe utilize more the players that you see to make some trading on them. Buy low, sell high, yes. as always. Exactly, boys. And to conclude this video, guys, uh, this is my tip that I can give you because I'm uh, better at trading than Liam. And throughout the web app, because the web app, everybody can have the web app, right? Everybody can do training on the web app. But the main thing, and that's gonna be super important, we live in Europe, uh, and whenever it's like 3 or 4 a.m. UK time, so during the middle of the night, all time, generally, boys, there's not a lot of players on the market, right? Yes. And this is why, listen me, because this is why, boys, in my opinion, you can make a lot of coins whenever you're sleeping. For example, in the middle of the afternoon, Europe time, there's at least three pages of Nelson Semedo, for example, right? Three pages during the middle of the afternoon or time in Europe. Uh, then, during the night, there's not gonna be three pages of Nelson Semedo, for example. There's gonna be only one, one page of Nelson Semedo. Therefore, when there is less competition, when there is less offer, the price nice. goes up. So this is gonna be my little bonus tip boss for you, uh, because you stay until the end of the video. Make sure 
During the night, you put every item that's on your transfer list on the transfer market. It's as simple as that, bros, because whenever it's nighttime Europe, whenever it's like 3 or 4 a.m. our time in Europe, well, there's not gonna be a lot of offers. And if someone wants to make some SBCs or if someone wants to create his starter team, they will have to buy. One more thing, boss, do never put your item on bid. Never put your item on bid because if your item is on bid, it will go for lower, lower. than on buy now. So hear me out. Put on night and put on for buy now. So like that, the one that's gonna buy your item will have to buy it and right. therefore they will have to put a higher price right. than just on bid. Exactly, and then Vincent, I like, I really like what you mentioned and as well keep in mind, never put your card for the cheapest on the market, especially at night. Yes. Always put it either the second or the third cheapest like this and as well for 6 to 12 hours. Uh, depending if you guys sleep a lot. Yeah. With that being said, bros, those were our starter tips for you guys to start on the FIFA 21 web app. As always, if you appreciate the video, big thumbs up. Alright, bros, if you found this video, big thumbs up. Um, and make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel simply to not miss out of more FIFA 21 videos coming within the next few days. And as well, our FIFA 21 road to glory with zero FIFA points. And it's important to mention now that we're both very far future champions plus. So within whenever the FIFA 21 game will be released, we're gonna help you guys on how you can improve your game, your gameplay whenever FIFA 21 will be out. So like that you guys can potentially reach elite, gold one, gold two, or whatever your objective is for FIFA 21. So bros, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Liam. My name is Vincent. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. We are really excited to start the FIFA 21 grind. Again, bros, I'm really excited about this. Hopefully you are too. If you have any questions, don't forget to let us know in the comment section just down below. With that being said, thank you guys so much. We we'll see you tomorrow. Au revoir.